In this video, I'll be talking about the tab Chart. Let us begin with New Chart. Here you can select your desired script. For this video, I'm going to select HDFC. You can zoom in or zoom out using the scroll in your mouse or by using the keyboard shortcut of Shift and Minus to zoom in and sh or Shift and Plus to zoom out. Currently, you're viewing the tick data of HDFC. You can change this by either using the keyboard shortcut of Control and I or by clicking on tick to your right hand side corner. Here you have a variety of options, intraday, 1 minute, 3 minute, 5 minute and so on, or you have T for daily, W for weekly, M for monthly, Q for quarterly, H for half yearly and Y for yearly. If you wish to select a time frame that is not given in your options, you can do so. For example, I want to see data for 1 minute and 30 seconds. So I will type 1 here and 30 here. Enter. Here we have data for 1 minute and 30 seconds. For now, we'll stick to daily. I'll just press D on my keyboard to get daily chart. Currently, you're viewing the Japanese candlesticks. You can change this by pressing B for bar graph, L for line graph, U for hollowed candlesticks, and J for back to Japanese candlesticks. If you look to your right, you can see certain values. These values are price, and these values are volume. On the extreme right, you can see a data window. This shows us the open, high, low, Close, percentage change, and delivery quantity change. You can view this for every candle. Next, we have candlestick patterns. We have all types of candlestick patterns for bullish and bearish. For example, I wish to see a bullish candlestick pattern of an inverted hammer, an engulfing line bow. Apply. Engulfing line bow has been highlighted in a box. If you zoom out, you can see many such boxes. This way, you can filter out your desired candlestick pattern. This was all for charts. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.